Hi, and welcome to the very first video demonstration that we will be doing on creating a smart device project for your Windows Mobile 6.1 phone. So what we will do is we will start in Visual Studio 2008 and we will choose New Project and we will go ahead and create a new project. We will choose where we're going to put it and we will call this project Demo Project Smart Device. All right, so we're going to go ahead and choose on the language of our choice. I prefer C Sharp, so I'm going to choose the Smart Device. Choose on the Smart Device Project and click on OK. That will bring us to the next screen, which asks us which uh, platforms we would like to target. We are interested in Windows Mobile 6.1, so we're going to choose Windows Mobile 6 Professional SDK. And we also get the choice of which .NET Framework version we would like to use. I prefer uh, 3.5, so I'm going to choose that. Down here in Templates, we actually have a total of five different options. You have a device application, which is just a normal user interface application. You have a class library, which allows you to code objects that support a user interface, a console application that will run basically in the background of your machine, a control library for reusable user controls, and an empty project. For this demonstration, we are going to use a device application. So I will click on OK, and it will start by generating a brand new project for me. From there, once the project is created, you will notice that it gives you a nice little um, layout screen that looks similar to what your mobile device will look like, and it also creates a form for you. So if we take a quick peek into our Solution Explorer, here's the pieces that it created. We have a solution for the Demo Project Smart Device, and we have a project for the Demo Project Smart Device. Um, in there, it has created a program.cs file, which is simply the main thread that's going to run, and that runs an application um, form called Form 1. Form 1 is right here, and just like any other Windows form, this allows us to drag and drop from our toolbox. So I'm going to go ahead and open our toolbox and take a quick peek, and you see we have a whole bunch of different device controls here. So what I would do is take one of my device, my um, controls over here that I would like to add. So we're going to do a very simple control right now with a button that says hello world. So over here in properties, make that a little bit bigger for you. We have our button and I'm going to change the name to button hello. And we're going to change the text to say hello world. Notice that text doesn't fit, so just like any other Windows form, you can adjust the size. And we're going to drop this right here. We're going to add another label to our form. And this is where we would like to have the text drop. So we're going to put our label right about here. I like to make it about the size of the form. And we can go ahead and um, change the text alignment to top center. And just for the fun of it, we will change the font over to Courier New, and we're going to do a size of 32. So we get a nice big hello world. Okay, for now we're also going to remove the text from the label that we've added, so that now we have a blank box. For now, we'll just run this application, it won't do anything but we will choose the emulator that we would like to use. I would prefer myself using the USA Windows Mobile 6.1 Professional Emulator. And I'm going to go ahead and run this application, which will bring me up a Windows 6.1 Professional Virtual Machine. And as you can see down in the bottom of the output command, you see that the deploy has begun. And it is sending all of the code out to the new professional device. It then loads the form as we have designed it in our designer. 
So that's a very simple form with a button that does nothing. So that, that's not quite too helpful. So what we're going to do is go ahead and stop our project. And I'm sure we want to make this button say something. So if you double click on the button, it will take you back into the code where you can make any changes that you would like. So we will do a label one of our name of our label dot text equals and just do hello world. Since we're in C sharp, you got to remember your semicolons at the end. We can go ahead and run this now, which will bring us back to our Windows Mobile 6.1 emulator. Again, the deploy has succeeded. So the application then comes and begins on our form. Now, when we click on our button, it says, hello world. Wonderful. We can do something with our device. So very simply, this is an application that can be written for any smart device, including Windows mobile phones. Um, and this is how you create a smart device application. We appreciate your time today and please feel free to join our forums and visit us anytime for any questions that you would have in C-Sharp.